Senior High School will be implemented nationwide starting June 2016. Students will enter grades 11 and 12, resulting in low college enrollment for five school years. This also means low teaching loads and low income for higher education personnel until 2021. To address these, CHED created the K-12 Transition Program, giving grants to faculty, staff, and schools to make good use of their time and upgrade the Philippine higher education landscape. Among them are the Instruction, Research, and Sectoral Engagement Grants, or IRSE Grants, made up of three components. Instruction grants allow faculty to receive training to enhance curricular content and teaching strategies. The research grants enable faculty and staff to produce meaningful research in their disciplines through training and funding of research projects. Sectoral engagement grants immerse faculty and staff in industry, civil society, and government to complement knowledge with real-world application. These opportunities enable faculty and staff to both learn from and contribute to organizations and communities and impart these experiences in the classroom. How do the IRSE grants work? The grants can be done full-time or part-time. Full-time meaning 40 hours of output weekly, part-time equivalent to 20 hours. Each engagement can be as short as one semester or six months or as long as a cumulative of two academic years. Where one full-time semester is equal to half an academic year and one part-time semester is equal to one-fourth an academic year. Under the grant, faculty and staff will receive 20,000 pesos monthly for full-time engagements and 10,000 pesos monthly for part-time engagements. These are the IRSE grants available for the first semester of 2016-2017. Grants for research projects and sectoral engagements for industry, civil society, and government. Take, for example, this faculty member who will be deloaded for the next two years. During the transition period, he will be nominated by his higher education institution for a sectoral engagement grant. After receiving the grant from CHED, he applies to be immersed in a local government unit as a full-time trainer in his region for two semesters or one full school year. He submits all of the required documents to the LGU through the online platform. The LGU screens his application and approves it. After he completes the engagement, the following year, his HEI nominates him for a research grant. This is a full-time engagement for the first semester or six months. The faculty completes this research grant. He is nominated for another research project for the next two semesters on a part-time basis. During these two semesters, he is given a partial teaching load. The faculty member received grants that cumulatively amount to two years. He will then render return service to his sending higher education institution for an equal amount of time. The IRSE grants are customizable based on timing and need, designed for faculty and staff development outside of graduate studies, and considers the limitations of faculty and staff in terms of availability. These grants are also a way to support the strategic direction of higher education institutions, as well as local, regional, and national goals for development. You may refer to CHED Memorandum Order No. 14, Series of 2016 for more details about how to avail of the IRSE grants. Visit our website and like us on Facebook to get the latest updates and announcements. You may also contact us for more information via any of the channels you see on your screen.